Hey everybody. I recently bought a water lily and planted it here in my waterfall tank. And this time around, because I've done this before and I didn't have any success in the past, but this time around, uh, I decided I'm going to put root tabs around this particular plant. I don't normally do that. I don't mess around with root tabs or fertilizers or anything. Uh, my philosophy on plants is basically that if they live without me doing anything to them at all, then that's the kind of plant for me. If I have to do additives or whatever, they just don't survive in my tanks. Uh, this is a different uh, circumstance though. I really do want to see this water lily bloom and so I did order some root tabs for it. And while I was looking around for root tabs, the Amazon's Choice root tabs, which does not necessarily mean it is the best quality or anything else, it just means it's what Amazon wants you to buy. Remember that. Um, it's based on their profit more than anything. So Amazon's Choice uh, brand of root tabs, whatever they were, claimed that they contained nitrogen and phosphorus and they specifically pointed out how other brands do not contain nitrogen and phosphorus which i always assumed they didn't for a reason and we'll get into that that's what this video is actually about but the advertising on this brand said that these all these other brands claim that it's a good thing that they don't have nitrogen or phosphorus in their formulas but we disagree. We think that that's wrong. It's a bad thing. They should have nitrogen and phosphorus in their formulas because plants need nitrogen and phosphorus for healthy growth and so on and so forth. And then that's it. They don't say another word about why theirs is better or why you should or anything like that. They just say that plants need nitrogen and phosphorus to be good and healthy. And that's true. But show me an aquarium that doesn't have a, a, a readily available abundant supply of nitrogen and phosphorus. I mean, there are some out there. Some people do keep their aquariums nitrate free and therefore they're probably also phosphate free. But most of us don't. The vast, vast majority of us out there have nitrogen readily available in our tanks. And even somebody that doesn't have nitrate available in their tanks. If you've got fish in your tanks, those fish are producing ammonia your plants can use that ammonia and ammonia is a very basic simple nitrogen compound your plants can use ammonia as a source of nitrogen more easily than they can use nitrate the, the plant has to do more work to convert the nitrate into usable nutrients than it does ammonia and then nitrite is actually slightly easier than nitrate but more difficult than ammonia and it's because it's been oxidized every time it goes from ammonia to nitrite you're adding oxygen atoms to it that's being oxidized and then again when it gets converted into nitrate you're adding more oxygen to it and the plant has to deal with all that to make it back into a nitrogen compound so if you've got ammonia being produced in your tank if there's a nitrogen cycle in your tank your plant has a source of nitrogen now, if you've got a heavily planted tank or something, it might need more nitrogen than that's available. But again, this is just not usually the case. Most tanks and most planted tanks, most people that have planted tanks understand that you need to have some nitrate available and that five, 10 parts per million is good. And if you've got one part per million nitrate, then it's available nitrogen. If the plants need it, they've got it ready to be absorbed right out of the water. Even if it's only one part, it's, it's still excess nitrogen that's available in your tank. As far as the phosphates go, if you've got any kind of organic waste in your tank at all, if you've got a little bit of nitrate building up in your tank, then you most likely also have phosphate building up in your tank, which is a readily available source of phosphorus for your plants. So I'd be interested to hear other people's uh, opinion about this and point of view as to whether you think that a plant root tab designed for an aquarium would be something that should have added phosphate or added nitrate. Am I missing something? I mean, I know that different, you know, nitrates or, or nitrogen can take different forms, just like I was saying, between ammonia and nitrite and nitrate or whatever, that plants might absorb it more or less readily. That might have something to do with it, but again, to my understanding, plants don't have any issue whatsoever pulling nitrogen compounds out of your aquarium. The phosphate is the same way. Maybe there's different 
forms of the phosphorus that are more or less absorbed by the plants. Maybe the idea of having them in the root tabs right at the root where, where they're more readily absorbed into the plant rather than the water column. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what their logic behind this is, but I find it really interesting that there's a brand out there that actually advertises that they add nitrogen well they don't add it necessarily but it's part of the ingredients and it went on to list the ingredients of this particular brand i don't even know what brand it was it doesn't really matter but the ingredients were like all natural like clays and different types of earth and stuff like that it was a weird sort of like all natural kind of root tab but again i just found it really interesting that they were advertising that it has nitrogen and phosphorus in it so give me your thoughts down below i'd love to hear what you have to say about this whole topic i've never used root tabs before i've never used any kind of well i can't say i never used them but i'm not a regular user of foods and ferks and stuff like that in my tank so i don't really have an opinion about how this kind of stuff works i know when i'm feeding my house plants or my gardens outside or whatever that is an added source of nitrogen and phosphorus and all that. That's, that's the point of putting those macronutrients in there. My aquarium has those macronutrients in there. I put them in there every day in the form of fish food. That fish food ultimately becomes plant food. And so why I need additional nitrogen and phosphorus is, is just beyond me. So anyway, I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts about that. So leave a comment down below. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss anything I got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. So thanks for watching this one. Don't forget this one here is my waterfall tank. I'll see you real soon in the next one.